You should look before you flush, correct? You should definitely look before you flush. I mean, I know there's some people who don't look at all, and I don't even understand how that's possible. Like, do you close your eyes and flush the toilet, or you're like an acrobat and you just kind of reach behind you? Dr. Ed, there's moments where I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I don't need to know what just happened. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody needs to know about it, including me. Yeah. And I'll flush it sometimes. So I mean, he needs a therapy <laughs> session yeah. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's that bad. Like, it could be that You're not even looking. Like, not going. Not yeah. Today. So people come to me for those therapy sessions. Like, we have those conversations. <laughs> therapy sessions. But, like, you should look at your stool because it could be a sign that there's something actually really, really dangerous or really wrong going on. And that is probably, like, the first sign you need to look for. Let's talk about that. What's a healthy stool? <laughs> like, what does healthy stool look like? So, I hate to bring up a food analogy, but I will. Okay. Uh, so typically, it should look like, like a, a big piece of sausage or, <laughs> like, a, a snake. Look, uh, you are so immature. I'm sorry. Right. And, and, and it, it's okay to talk about poop and stool. It is. Like, it shouldn't be the secret thing. Everyone says, like, oh, we can't talk about it, but you should, because everyone, yeah. everyone poops. It's okay. okay. Everybody poops. Let's talk about more poop, then. So, uh, <laughs> discuss or flush. That's we're going to get into our game here. That's what we're going to play here mm. a little bit. Let's discuss do it. Discuss or flush. So, okay. Do you discuss or flush if your stool is black? What does that mean? Yeah, so if you have black stool, that probably means you're bleeding uh, oh. somewhere in your stomach or upper small bowel. So that's actually pretty dangerous. You should definitely discuss and probably go to the emergency room. I was gonna say that if you're saying bleeding in there, that means like go straight to the emergency room or wait till Monday and call the doctor and try to get an appointment for the next three weeks. No, that means, <laughs> that means go to the emergency room. We actually call that melana. So one person came up to me and they were saying they were having Melania every day. And I'm like, oh, like so that's just taking a shot. Yeah, that's, that's kicking a horse when it's down. That, that's not that's We not better move on melana. to the next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is a poop uh, a poop segment, so... Okay, moving along, uh, what happens if your stool is red? So, red stool obviously means blood. Uh, so, if you see blood in your stool, even if it's a small amount, it could be a hemorrhoid, but it could be something more serious. So, well, I thought, but that happens when you eat spicy food. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, if the spicy food is red colored... It's a self-diagnosis, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, what but, about, but, you know, Mexican food? So, she loves Mexican food, So, everybody. typically, it can be hemorrhoids, uh, or even if it's painful, it can sure. be a tear. But, you know, most importantly, if the red stool happens over and over again, you should definitely see someone, because you may need a colonoscopy. Okay, lay off on the spice. I have always <laughs> wanted to know about this, this one. Discuss or flush if your stool is floating. Yeah, so you can flush that. So, it's okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So floating stool Thank really you for just the means flush sound, you guys. Yeah. Sound effects on point. Yeah. Mm. So a floating stool just means there's a lot of gas in the stool. So that's Ooh. pretty normal. Uh, just stay I away. Your stool was supposed to float though. I did too. Most, that means yeah. the buoyancy is on point. Uh, I just it, came up with that. It, we should yeah. give yourself like a doctor so, on this one. <laughs> it, it can sink, <laughs> sink or MD. float. That's not a big deal. So okay. I would just say flush it, don't worry about Last it. Last one okay. really quick, if it comes out like pebbles. If it comes out like pebbles, you're like probably... Like you're a rabbit or like you're a goat and it comes yeah. out like that. So if it's small and pebble-like, it's probably a sign of constipation. Okay. Uh, so that's yeah. okay to talk to someone that's about. Me. I got a lot more yeah, scenarios than questions. what's on this card. But incredibly um, informative. We thank <laughs> you yes. very much, Dr. Ed McDonald. And now Gino's you're also a trained chef okay. to go along with yes. it. So you got it all covered. Multi-talented Dr. McDonald. We're all going to start looking in the toilet. And we're starting that new trend here on The Jam. So for more nutritional tips from Dr. Ed McDonald, check out his blog at the DocsKitchen.com.